Take a look at this headline. It says Stephen Furtick's facing backlash because Elevation Church won't use words like resurrection on Easter invites. Watch this. Um, for us, the most important thing on Easter is inviting people to church. And so this particular biblical event of Easter is tied directly to our mission. Um, and so, so that's so important to us. And so when I think about how I'm going to talk about Easter, I'm thinking about talking to people far from God. So just to like give you just like a teeny bit of a glimpse, I'm talking all the way from people who have been in our church for years, and I want them to invite people to church. Um, but I'm putting a lot of my focus, energy, time, resources toward what I would call the cold audience as people far from God. And so I'm not going to say the word Calvary. I'm not going to say the word resurrection. I'm not going to say the blood of Jesus, uh, right? Um, I'm not going to say any of these words that make someone feel like an outsider. This is really important. Um, a, a, an important guiding principle for how we develop language is um, anyone can be a part of our church. So this is taking place at Pastor Steve Furtick's ministries and thousands of people attend this ministry weekly and not including the thousands who watches him online. So as they prepare for their resurrection service, they decided not to mention the word Calvary, resurrection, and the blood of Jesus on their invitation because they don't want to offend anyone. John chapter 11 and verse 25, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As you can see, Jesus said, I am the resurrection. So you can't separate the resurrection from our Lord and Savior. And if you choose to, you are in violation because you taking away and adding to the text. But notice they are doing it in a way with no care in the world. As long as they can pack out the church, they'll mention rabbits. They'll mention eggs before they mention anything about the cross. They'll lead people into idolatry before they lead them to the truth. They'll teach people fables before they teach them true doctrine. They are more committed in preaching contrary doctrines than they are committed to the truth. Tell me, how does this work? You're not even gonna mention the resurrection. You're not even gonna mention anything about the cross, but you call yourself the church. The gospel is the foundation. It's the only way you can enter eternal life. It's a shame, everybody, for someone to be ministering to thousands of people weekly, not including the ones who follow this ministry online, and to say they are not mentioning any words that pertain to the atonement that our Lord and Savior made because they don't want to offend anyone. So they went as far as to hide the gospel from the world because they want them to come to church. Make it make sense when in fact, our Lord and Savior gave his life on the cross for the sins of the world. But now people who claim to believe in him, they are offended in mentioning the word cross. If you have to remove the cross to get people to come to your ministry, you don't have anything for them when they get there. They are driven by membership. And as long as the church is packed, that is good enough for them. So watch and pray. And don't be deceived. God bless you.